and welcome to my channel. My name is Tefania if you're new here. So today I have a very exciting video, or at least I'm excited. I get super excited about bronzers. Could be weird, could just be me, but I love bronzers. So um, especially with like summer coming up, I'm just like, oh, I'm ready to step into that stage. Not because I like summer here. I live in Arizona and it's awful, but <laughs> um, more so just because I like makeup. I like my skin better in summer. Like I just... I like tank tops, all that good stuff. Anyways, I don't know why that made me think of bronzer, but I'm just like, summertime, I feel like we always are just like glowy, bronzy skin. So I got two different things from newer, not necessarily newer brands, but like Alamar has been around for a little bit while, and I picked up the bronzing trio, and then I also got the Vesca Beauty bronzer. So we're gonna kind of do a battle of the bronzes. Um, but yeah, this is a new brand that I really want to try out, the Vesca, and then Alamar. I have always really liked the brand, but I haven't tried that much, other than like, I think the lip products. So I'm excited to get into this, test these both out, see what we think, what's worth the money. There's definitely a difference. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And hit that thumbs up if you like these types of videos, and let's jump in. Okay, so the Vesca Beauty, it is a $30 bronzer. They do that whole shipping code thing, so at least you can get $5 off. Um, but that's why I did it like that, because I was like, as long as I can get five bucks off, I will pay for shipping. Because uh, I was like, even though it it's free shipping on uh, $50 for US, and then free shipping for 100 in Canada, but right now all they have are bronzers, and I was like, I mean, I could have definitely ordered two, but I was like, behave yourself. Um, so they are $30 vegan cruelty free they are available in seven shades it does have a scent so we will we will see what this smells like in a minute but they have a really nice shade range and then you get 0.35 ounces so 10 grams in the bronzer this one came in a box just thought I would mention between the two like I was super worried about the Olimar because it came in this little package and I was just like <laughs> This is gonna be crushed and broken everywhere. Um, so I did open it and I was like, oh, it's intact. I have not swatched yet. So I'm very excited about both these products. So this is just a bronzer and then this, you get three different shades. So you get more of like the highlighting shade, more like the contour bronzing. This is a matte bronzer and these are shimmery. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and swatch them, yeah? All right, so the shade I got was Diani. Um, it has all the nicer names, like I always like Bali, Tahiti, but I was not those shades, okay? Um, so my shade was the Diani, and I got medium with golden undertones, and then for the Alamar, I got the medium palette. I felt like the light could possibly work for me, but, you know, I'm gonna tan more, so I was like, eh, yeah, yeah, we'll get the medium. So these are the differences, let me, oh, it does smell. It's a nice summer smell, like almost in that, like coconuts, beachy type scent. And then this one doesn't have a scent, which I'm totally, I try to go for more of the unscented makeup, if I'm being completely honest, just in case something irritates my skin. But unless it's full of coconut oil, like I wanted the Marc Jacobs new bronzer, but I did not pick it up because it's all coconut oil. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch these. Okay, so here we have the first one, which is the Vesca, and then we have the shades of the Alamar. So it said to, this is supposed to be Soltera, it's supposed to be the bronzer, and then Always Summer is supposed to be the deepener, and then we have I'm Woke, which is the brightener. So you guys know I love, I love my Sonia G brush, you know, but I only have one of her and I can't afford two. So we are, we're not, we're gonna put that one aside. And then I have these two Morphe brushes. I did go ahead and spot clean these, so there's nothing on them. They're just they're just stained. Um, but I'll use one on one side and then one on the other so that we can see the difference. But like just looking at the shades, I would say I don't know. Like the Vesca is pretty similar to the medium, like the the actual bronzer shade, the Soltera. But I wouldn't say they're like exactly the same. I am also one of those people. Okay, I'm one of those crazy people. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this. The Vesca, it is uh powder is definitely kicking up in the in the in the pan. I like this packaging, this plastic. Definitely gonna get dirty. It's already getting dirty. 
not a big deal. I've just accepted that that's how I am. Ooh, my eyes are red, but I filmed multiple videos. And then I'm gonna zoom you guys in here. I did go ahead and order Lumify eye drops because everyone was saying that like, because I have those, that irritation. Ooh, okay. Hopefully this blends out okay. Um, <laughs> That was a little advanced for, for just going right on, you know? But they're saying it's really great for people like me with sensitive eyes that turn vampire red. Or like I should belong in the CDC, you know? Probably shouldn't make that joke right now. Our boss gets like very, very, um, like scared of stuff like that. And he's like, my wife got sick. I thought she had the virus. He's like, I was so worried. And then he's like, of course she doesn't. He's like, she's fine. But he's like one of those people that will wear the mask through the airport. And I just make fun of him all the time. All right, so it's blending nicely. It's not like, I, you know, some bronzers, like you can put them down and like they just don't blend. Um, so, so far, not bad. I'm also one of those psycho people where like the smallest difference in a bronzer, I'm still like, it's different. Like I, bronzers are one of my favorites. I feel like I could even say like bronzer is my favorite product, but at the same time, I don't wear bronzer every day. So, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Like I just feel like it's, it's the one step where I'm like, it makes your face just come alive. And I feel like if I think of summer, it's definitely a bronzer. Okay, so I feel like it's building up nicely. I might over bronze today just because I'm trying to see if the formula builds or what it looks like. I heard, I think I first heard about this. I heard it on beauty blog thing and then I think Samantha Ravendahl used it in a video too. And like, I really, I really love her videos but we always have different tastes in makeup. So it's funny because she was like, I don't know if I love it at the end. Like she was just kind of like, it's a little powdery and I'm like, I love bronzer. <laughs> like she loves cream products. And I don't, you know, but I still enjoy watching her channel for her. I mean, it doesn't look patchy anywhere. Like, obviously, I have texture on that cheek, but I don't feel like it's doing anything a normal bronzer, like, wouldn't do. So let's start with the Soltera shade, and then we'll go in with the Always Summer shade. I have the film over the mirror, of course. I think I'm gonna go get my brows laminated this week. I think I'm gonna do it. For some reason, I'm terrified of microblading and I just can't bite that bullet. I cannot do 500 on one in a, in a one-time thing. Um, so the brow lamination and tinting is 70 bucks. And even though it only lasts like two months, I can swallow that pill for some reason. I'm like, the other one, I'm just like, that's half, that's half a mortgage almost, you know? Like I can't just spend that money, but I'm interested to see if it will work on me because I don't have a lot of like, you know, my eyebrows stop right here. <laughs> so I'm just like, hopefully it will work with the tinting, but we will see. And I'm like, at least I won't be upset. Whereas like if I spent $500, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be okay. Uh, and maybe it will like ease it in, but we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I'm excited about it. So definitely right off the bat, I can tell like, I'm gonna try to build this up. Even though on the swatches, it didn't necessarily look like they looked very similar. This one definitely goes on more intense right off the bat. Whereas this one, I think you're gonna have to build it a little bit and then it has that deepener shade. But yeah, I'm excited to get these eyebrows under control. I don't know if you can see this, but they're just doing what they feel like doing. But yeah, what is your guys' favorite bronzer? All right. Hmm. So yeah, let's dip in one more time and just see if we can build this to the same intensity without adding the deepener shade. All right, for the deepener shade, I think I'm just gonna grab a smaller brush. I don't think I wanna just like, kinda just go in at like the very top perimeters. And then this is always summer. So I'm trying to see if it will build more as like a, like use it more as like a contour type shade. But I really only like to deepen it in certain points. I don't wanna go like too crazy. But both formulas are blending out just fine. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my Wingle brush and I'm gonna do I'm Woke, which is the lightning shade. I feel like that did something for sure. Compared to this side, 
So I'm gonna do just a little bit more. It's a nice like banana, like a like a very, like we're familiar with this product, right? Very banana-y shade. But I think the lighter one would have been too white on me because the shade was, that was definitely the shade that I was like, oh, that's too light. I'm glad I got the medium palette for sure. But yeah, I feel like it looks very nice and smooth. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily blurring, but brightening. And then we're gonna even that out because why not? You know, I got nothing to do with under eyes on this video. Man, my nose is running. I've had so many sick clients come in. I'm just like, please don't, please stop it. Like, just don't come in, it's okay. And then I'm gonna go here and here. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the bronzer shade. And I just like to emphasize my cupid's bow and then right underneath the lip. All right, what are your guys' thoughts? I feel like they both went on super smooth. I feel like this one definitely like the olive mod you build up a little bit, which could be really great for people that enjoy those formulas more. And, you know, beginner wise, it's very beginner friendly. This one definitely, even though you could build it up quite a bit, like it went on more intense right off the bat, which is, Almost good because it's just the one shade of bronzer compared to this where you have the deepener and the other one. So for the Alamar, it says, curated collection of sculpting powders designed to bronze, brighten, and snatch a look. Add I hate that word snatch. Add dimension, warmth, and luminosity to your skin with our brighten and bronze complexion. Designed with your skin and skincare in mind, our powders are friendly by with hyaluronic acid, talc-free, for a hydrated, buttery, smooth finish. Always vegan and cruelty free. So brightening shade to illuminate under eyes. We did that. The bronzer shade to add warmth on the perimeter of the face and the deepener shade to create depth around the cheekbones, forehead, and jaw. One thing I will say though is I feel like I can't, let's see here. Let's really dig into this always summer shade. Cause I didn't feel like it, I guess we're fine. No, we're good. I mean, obviously I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush after. I just wanna see how deep you can get this. So this one you just have to like kind of layer on a little bit more. And I would say use a brush more like this and then go over it to like diffuse it. Overall though, I think I like both. I don't think one looks necessarily more powdery than the other. I feel like this is my bad side. <laughs> but if you look at like my forehead, it's fine. I like I'm trying to see if I can notice the difference between tones, but they're very similar. So let me turn down the lighting. I feel like they're, they're similar tones. This one might have just a touch more red in it, which I, I love a little bit of a ready tone just on myself personally. Not everybody is going to like that. Final thoughts. They're both cruelty free. This one's definitely a better deal in terms of it's $25 and you're getting three different shades. Um, and then this one, you're just getting the one for 30. It all depends on what you reach for. This, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like, I'm like, I can use all, cause sometimes you get these and it's just like, you know, you like one shade out of the three. I don't know if I would always go in though with both of these. Like, I would just like mix the brush in with both. I probably wouldn't do the whole like layering of one over the other. Only because like, I only would do that if one was more of a contour shade. But you guys can see from the swatches, I wouldn't say like it leans gray to where you're like, like usually the contour shade will lean more towards of like a shadowy color where these both come off as a bronzer, you know? So it's not like I would really like want to contour with one of those. At the same time, do I really contour now? Not really, unless I'm having a puffy day where I'm just like, yeah, fix this area. Um, then I do, but I don't necessarily contour that much anymore or I use a contour for just very little tiny areas that I want. Like I don't generally do that anymore, but it's something nice to have. So I feel like between the, th like, I would have rather them put an actual contour shade in this, but I know at the same time, people are very over contours. I don't know, I like them both. I'm not mad that I tried either one and I will definitely both be using it. Let me grab, I'm just gonna grab my Benefit real quick and my Fenty so that we can compare. Okay, so this is my beloved Probably like my number one bronzer at this point, this one. And then my Fenty Caramel Cutie, uh, which these those two are very, very similar. But let's swatch these down here. Okay, definitely different tone. Yay, I'm happy about that. 
I mean, some people are gonna be like, all bronzes look the same, you know? To those people, I say, I say no. <laughs> That's gonna be very rude there for a second. I was like, don't do that. Okay, so this is the um, Benefit Hula Caramel. And then let's swatch. This one is Beijian Gal, Gal from Fenty. And then I also have Island Ting here from Fenty. So I would actually say that these three are in their own little family, family like group of being more on that caramel brownie side, if that makes sense. And then these ones are definitely a little bit deeper. So definitely not like the same. Of course, like I said, maybe on the face, people think they're all the same. But yeah, when I look at it, I feel like the Alamar and the Vesca are more of like a reddish brown tone. And then these are all like more of that caramelly, caramel orange type tone where these are like orange ready, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. But I will say with the Alamar, like it says luminosity because I think that the, I believe the bronzer has a little bit of shimmer, but it doesn't come off that way. Like I definitely don't feel like this side looks more shimmery than this side by any means. So, I mean, I'm happy with that. I'm not mad at it. I don't mind sometimes when bronzers have shimmer in it. I, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm picky about bronzers, but I also have a big collection of bronzers. So I don't necessarily lean one way or the other. So if you want the better deal, I would go 25, but I also don't think that you would be upset like spending money on the Vesca. Like I'm happy about both. I'm wearing a white shirt and I'm like, no, don't you put your arm on your boob. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with both. I don't think that there's, I'll, I'll reach for both. I do want to see, I would say with sensitive skin types, like, like I said, this does have um, fragrance in it. I worry about that more with like actual skincare, not so much with things going on top, but they're all both vegan free, cruelty free. I don't know, I say it's a better deal, but you're getting 10 grams of product in the Vesca for 30. And then for the Alamar, you're getting eight grams of actual product. So you're actually getting more product in the compart, like in the compact, but in terms of like, you're getting three different options for the Alamar. So it's kind of up to you. I don't feel like I'm like, oh, I spent an extra $5, so this must be more. Like, you're getting more product in this one than you are in this. But either way, I feel like they're great products. I have no complaints. Let me know if you guys notice a difference between both um, or either one, what you think. I'm not getting the powdery vibes from either. Um, I could also, you know, I could also spray my face give it some hydration but I don't feel like either side looks powdery I will say though in terms of the Vesca like there was more powder kick up in the actual pan than there was in the Alamar so if that's something that you look for then just know that um but yeah I'm appreciating all these new brands coming out with cruelty free products and I kind of want to do a whole video on cruelty free and vegan and all that kind of stuff and what they mean it's not like I I by no means and I'm not personally trying to go cruelty free, but if I can like reduce my amount of non cruelty free makeup, that would be good. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys appreciated this video. Let me know which side you preferred. If you felt like there was a difference or feel like they're the same. Now I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys had fun with this. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you want more videos like these and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm trying to do these. I feel like Zoolander doing stupid freaking photos for the thumbnail. I hate it.